Hello dear friends, in trick number 196 today, I am going to discuss a very important concept used in all types of competitive exams. This is the concept of distance, time and speed. Now the concept of average speed and the problems based on this very important concept are very common and they consume a lot of time if you do this and solve them by using the traditional approach but by a small understanding and small shortcut you can save a lot of time during competitions so today i'm going to discuss this important concept now for finding the average speed you have to use the formula of dividing the total distance by the total time so for two different distances d1 and d2 if you want to find the average speed when distance d1 is covered with a different speed and d2 is covered with a different speed then you need to divide the total distance by the total time taken and uh, time for finding the time you need to apply the formula time is equal to distance upon speed so for calculating the average speed you need to find the time taken to cover distance d1 with speed s1 and the time taken to cover distance d2 with speed s2 then you have to substitute these in this formula for finding the average speed now this is the traditional method of finding the average speed for two different distances now i'm taking one example wherein the distance covered is same now see this is example one now suppose we have this as the source means this is the starting point and a person is traveling from a to b and we do not know the distance between a and b while going the speed is 20 km per hour and while coming back the speed is 30 km per hour now see while going from a to b the distance is ab and while coming back from b to a the distance is again ab so whenever there is a case when the distance covered in two cases is same then the average speed of going and coming back can be found out very easily using a small shortcut now you need to find the average speed now i am going to discuss the shortcut for finding this for finding the average speed you just need to substitute the two given speeds in this formula two speed 1 speed 2 upon speed 1 plus speed 2 so the two speeds we have to substitute in this formula so this can also be remembered by this you have to take the product of the speeds divided by the sum of the speeds and double the result you get the average speed now for this question average speed will be twice of the product of speeds 20 into 30 and obviously the sum of speeds 20 plus 30 is 50 so 10 gets cancelled you have 3 to the 6 into 20 120 upon 5 so your answer is 24 kilometer per hour so you see we have not found out the time we have not used any lengthy formulas just a small shortcut for finding the average speed and you get to the answer within 4 to 5 seconds only now let us extrapolate this method for three distances now see there are three points so i'm marking the example 2 here now suppose there are three points point a point b and point c 
suppose the three distances are equal and a person is travelling from a to b at a distance of 10 km per hour from b to c at a speed of 20 km per hour and from c to a at a speed of 30 km per hour now we need to find out the average speed over the entire journey all the three distances are again same now to find the average speed we just need to find the product again like here we found the product of the two speeds so here we will have the product of three speeds s1 s2 and s3 divided by the product in pairs s1 s2 s2 s3 and s1 s3 and take the sum and triple the result if you apply this formula you will get the value of average speed directly now let us substitute this 3 into 10 into 20 into 30 upon the product of s1 and s2 200 s2 and s3 600 and s3 and s1 300 so you have this is 3 to the 6 3 is 18 followed by 3 zeros and divided by 1100 so your final answer will come by dividing 180 and 11 so 11 ones are 11 left behind with 7 so 70 11 6 are 66 4 remaining decimal 40 3 33 so 7 remaining 6 so this is the average speed over the entire journey from A to B B to C and from C to A remember these two shortcuts which we have discussed here and here these shortcuts can be applied to find the average speed only when the distance traveled is same but the speed is different so at most three distances are asked in the examinations so we can restrict our method to three distances only having these kind of methods up your sleeves will save a lot of time in exams and obviously students who are learning speed time questions in the beginning they can make use of these methods to understand the concept in a better way so keep learning keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it